Hi, I'm Dr. Alison Grimaldi, and today we'll be talking hips. Acetabular dysplasia is one of the leading causes of hip instability and painful hip osteoarthritis, and therefore awareness and early detection are of high importance. You may be aware of dysplasia, but are you seeing the whole picture? How do you diagnose acetabular dysplasia? While there are clinical indicators that raise suspicion, there are no clinical tests that accurately diagnose dysplasia. This is one that does require imaging. But what imaging indices do you rely on? The lateral center edge angle is perhaps the most common marker, measuring the degree of coverage of the femoral head by the acetabulum on an AP X-ray. However, this is a two-dimensional measurement and acetabular dysplasia is a three-dimensional deficiency which means that many with clinically meaningful acetabular dysplasia are missed if reliance is placed solely on this measurement. You can read more about the three-dimensional nature of acetabular dysplasia in my blog on this topic. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next episode of Talking Hips with Dr. Alley.